friend wants to add a second magical effect to his belt, is there raw situation for that? A cleric in my group wants to add the effects of a plus two belt of incredible dexterity to his heavy load belt, triples his carry load. Is that allowed, and if so, what would he need to do for it? Hash hash hashtag RAW, you have to pay 50% extra for additional effects like this each effect after the first on a given item costs 50% more than it normally would. Carcer's answer covers that well, hash hash hashtag but Paizo is wrong this rule is a change from D&D 3.5e, in D&D 3.5e, while there was a 50% surcharge on extra effects combined into one item, it was not specifically the new effects that got the surcharge, but explicitly the lower cost effects, in other words, what Carker calls generosity, simply wasn't, in D&D 3.5e, it was the actual official rule. This makes sense, because otherwise the exact same item costs more based on the order that effects were added. That conflicts with the entire nature of managing wealth in both systems, because the GM should manage wealth and both items have the exact same real value. More importantly, D&D 3.5e also had the following. One of the most frustrating roadblocks to using interesting, unusual magic items is that they take up body slots that you need for an ability-boosting item, such as gauntlets of ogre power, a ring of protection, or another must-have item. To address this issue, Magic Item Compendium presents official rules for adding common item effects to existing items. Magic Item Compendium, pg. 233 the official rules then presented there were that certain common magic effects are ignored when deciding whether or not an item has multiple magic effects. For example, enhancement bonuses to dexterity or any other ability score are on the list, so the belt with both the plus two enhancement to dexterity and the heavy load property only counts as having one uncommon magic effect, heavy load, and so nothing gets a surcharge. You just pay 4,000 GP for the enhancement bonus plus 2,000 GP for heavy load, nothing extra. In addition to enhancement bonuses to ability scores, this also applied to resistance bonuses to saving throws e.g. cloak of resistance, enhancement bonuses to natural armor e.g. amulet of natural armor, deflection bonuses to AC e.g. ring of protection, and energy resistance effects. Pathfinder not only lacks this rule, but Paizo explicitly warns GMs not to implement it or anything like it e.g. allowing enhancement bonuses to be found in other item slots. They are wrong. The insistence on this surcharge and that all physical ability score enhancements always be found only on belts D&D 3.5e had them spread around gloves, belts, and amulets to begin with is a major contributor to the fact that physical, mundane classes are even worse off in Pathfinder than they were in D&D 3.5e. And anyway, even in D&D 3.5e where these effects were spread around, Wizards of the Coast is absolutely correct when it refers to this issue as a frustrating roadblock. It adds nothing of value to the game to penalize characters for wanting to use interesting items despite the game insisting on boring but necessary ones. Please, please, please do not continue Paizo's mistakes. Use the magic item compendium rule, it will make your game much, much better. I have a lot of experience with both varieties, and there is nothing to be gained by the miserly official rule, and much to be lost. I have even played in plenty of games that ignored body slots and the combining items surcharge entirely, and really, that's better still. This whole complicated system didn't add much of anything to the game.